It's Friday the 13th. Do you feel a shiver run down your spine? Perhaps you brush it off as mere superstition. Yet, across the globe, countless individuals approach this date with a mix of trepidation and caution. The fear of Friday the 13th, known as Frigatrisky decaphobia, is a prime example of how deeply ingrained superstitions can be in our collective psyche. While the origins of this specific superstition are shrouded in mystery, it highlights a fundamental aspect of human nature, our desire to find patterns and meaning in a world often characterized by randomness. From the mundane to the momentous, superstitions offer a sense of order and predictability, even if that sense is based on beliefs that defy logical explanation. They remind us that despite our advances in science and technology, we still grapple with uncertainty and the unknown. Triskai decaphobia, while fascinating, is just one example within a vast tapestry of superstitions. Walk down any street and you're likely to encounter someone clutching a lucky charm, avoiding cracks in the sidewalk or knocking on wood for good luck. The realm of sports is particularly rife with superstitions. Athletes, under immense pressure to perform, often develop elaborate pre-game rituals or rely on lucky items of clothing. Basketball legend Michael Jordan famously wore his college championship shorts under his Chicago Bulls uniform for every single game. Whether it was the shorts themselves or the psychological boost they provided, Jordan's belief in their power highlights the role of superstition in high-stakes environments. These rituals and talismans, while seemingly irrational, offer athletes a sense of control and predictability in the face of uncertainty. They provide a psychological anchor, boosting confidence and reducing anxiety, which can be crucial for optimal performance. Superstitions reveal fundamental aspects of human psychology. They highlight our desire to impose order on a chaotic world. We seek ways to increase our sense of agency. By adhering to rituals, we create an illusion of control. This illusion can provide comfort and reduce anxiety. This need for control is pronounced in high-stakes situations. Superstitions become a psychological shield against randomness. One might assume that superstitions are primarily the domain of the religious or spiritual. However, research has shown that even those who do not subscribe to traditional religious beliefs can be susceptible to superstitious thinking. Psychologist Bruce Hood conducted a series of experiments demonstrating that even self-proclaimed atheists exhibit superstitious behaviours. In one study, participants were asked to handle objects associated with good luck or bad luck. Those who handled unlucky objects were more likely to experience negative emotions and perform poorly on subsequent tasks, regardless of their religious beliefs. These findings suggest that superstitions are not simply learned behaviours or cultural artefacts. They are, in part, a product of our evolved cognitive architecture. Our brains hardwired to seek patterns and make connections, even when those connections are based on flawed reasoning. Our desire for predictability and control can override our rational thinking, leading us to embrace beliefs that defy logic and evidence. While superstitions can be found in all facets of life, they tend to proliferate in situations where the stakes are high, uncertainty is rampant, and the outcome is largely beyond our control. Think of athletes competing for a championship, students facing crucial exams, or even gamblers hoping to strike it rich. In these high-pressure environments, Superstitions offer a sense of agency and control when we feel most vulnerable to the whims of fate. 
Imagine a poker player wearing a lucky charm or performing a specific ritual before a big hand. These actions, while having no impact on the cards dealt, can boost their confidence and reduce anxiety, allowing them to approach the game with a clearer mind. This psychological edge, however illusory, can make a difference in high-stakes situations. When the stakes are high and the outcome is uncertain, we are more likely to cling to beliefs and practices that offer even the slightest illusion of control. Superstitions often revolve around the idea of supernatural forces or entities that can influence our lives for better or worse. These forces might be benevolent, offering good luck and fortune, or malevolent, bringing misfortune and hardship. Many cultures have rituals and traditions designed to attract good luck or avoid bad luck. These might involve specific objects, actions, or even words or phrases believed to hold mystical power. For example, the horseshoe, often hung above doorways, is thought to bring good fortune, while the number 13 is widely considered unlucky in Western cultures. These beliefs, while often rooted in folklore and tradition, tap into a fundamental human desire to understand and influence the forces that shape our lives. They provide a framework for explaining the unexplainable, offering a sense of order and control in a world often perceived as chaotic and unpredictable. By adhering to certain rituals or avoiding specific actions, we seek to curry favour with benevolent forces and avoid the wrath of malevolent ones. The allure of superstitions extends even to the most rational and scientifically minded individuals. One striking example is the renowned physicist Niels Bohr, a pioneer of quantum mechanics and a staunch advocate for scientific inquiry. Despite his deep understanding of the laws of physics and the principles of rational thought, Bohr reportedly kept a horseshoe nailed above his office door. When asked by a visitor why a brilliant scientist like himself would believe in such a superstition, Bohr is said to have replied, Of course I don't believe in it, but I understand that it brings good luck whether you believe in it or not. This anecdote highlights the enduring power of superstitions, even among those who intellectually reject their validity. Even the most brilliant minds can be swayed by the allure of superstitions, particularly when they offer a sense of control, comfort or reassurance in a world often perceived as unpredictable and unforgiving. While superstitions offer comforting illusions of control, they differ fundamentally from scientific inquiry in their approach to understanding the world. Science, at its core, is a systematic process of observation, experimentation and falsification, seeking to build reliable knowledge through empirical evidence and logical reasoning. Superstitions, conversely, rely on anecdotal evidence, tradition and personal beliefs often persisting despite a lack of empirical support. The philosopher Karl Popper famously argued that a key characteristic of scientific theories is their falsifiability, their ability to be disproven through empirical testing. A scientific theory, no matter how well supported, must be open to revision or rejection if contradictory evidence emerges. Superstitions, on the other hand, tend to be resistant to falsification. When confronted with evidence that contradicts their beliefs, individuals may dismiss it as an anomaly, reinterpret it to fit their worldview, or simply cling to their beliefs even more tightly. This discrepancy highlights the fundamental difference between scientific thinking and superstitious beliefs. In our modern, technologically advanced world, where scientific understanding has reached unprecedented heights, superstitions continue to hold sway over human behaviour. From lucky charms and rituals to fears of black cats and broken mirrors, superstitions persist across cultures and demographics. 
They offer a sense of control in a chaotic world, provide comforting explanations for the unexplainable, and connect us to history and shared human experience.